Hello and welcome to our channel again. Uh, Toyota Prius uh, 2009. Uh, rattling noises coming from the engine bay. As you can see. Engine management light is on. Okay, let's scan the vehicle and see what's going on and uh, see. Uh, the fold code and uh, see the scanner that uh, what type of fold code is stored in the uh, engine uh, control unit mm, or the engine electronic control unit or Okay, these are the fault code. Let's see first the engine ECU fault codes. Okay, cylinder number four misfire detected. Cylinder number four misfire detected cylinder number four misfire detected okay okay now i'm going to go back back and let's check the transmission control module Okay, this is something different. Uh, this is uh, not going to be related to the uh, engine shaking or engine rattling. So this is going to be something different. So uh, we are going to be focused first on the misfire. So on this one, uh, P0304. So let's check the uh, freeze frame data. So oxygen sensor, as you can see. The mixture was rich and this was also 315, uh, 3.15 which is going to be uh, rich uh, air and fuel mixture. So all cylinder misfire uh, calculated. 
catalytic. This is the temperature of the catalytic converter, which is good. Coolant misfire. Here. Go to yeah. This is Karen. This should read misfire detection. So this uh, we should have uh, uh, number four cylinder uh, misfiring registered in the freeze frame data, which is not here. So. Anyway, so in the, uh, this time I'm going to uh, go to the live data and show you <coughs> the live data of uh, mass firing uh, for four cylinders for all of them where is going to be that so i'm going to take this 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 okay as you can see and mm, This one, this one, engine speed. Okay, now I'm going to uh, press the accelerator pedal down rapidly and the engine will start. As you can see, um, misfire is occurring in cylinder four. In cylinder number four, But uh, uh, the engine rattling starts uh, <coughs> when the while the engine is running and the engine is uh, engaged uh, with the uh, motor generator. As you can see now, the rattling noise is coming from the engine bay. As you can see, the engine is engaged, spinning the uh, motor generator one to charge the battery. So when I <coughs> pressed the accelerator pedal, so the engine was not engaged, the motor generator number one, so the rattling noise was not coming. So now I'm going to show you that uh, later when the uh, engine has turned off by the uh, <coughs> hybrid uh, control, uh, module and uh, I'm going to show you that when I uh, press the accelerator pedal the uh, engine is not engaged with the motor generator number one to charge the battery and the rattling noise is not coming in spite of that that the misfire is occurring and as you can see now misfiring as is occurring in uh, cylinder number three right now Look, even though that the misfire is not occurring, but the engine is rattling. As you can see here, 
a misfiring is right now not occurring. But the engine is rattling. Okay. Another sign that could be problem within the gearbox, within the transmission. As you can, you, you saw previously that uh, we had one full code in transmission as uh, as well. As you can see now, the uh, misfire is not occurring at all, as you can see. But uh, the engine is rattling. So if I get off the vehicle, I'm going to show you <coughs> there. As you can see. Engine is rattling, but no misfire. This is live data. As you can see, the engine space speed is at 1100, and this is going to be very, very critical to find this problem. As you can see. No misfire is occurring, but the rattling noise is coming from the engine bay. <laughs> okay, now the uh, engine has uh, turned off by the hybrid control module. Uh, now, uh, if you watch here, I'm going to uh, press the accelerator pedal uh, rapidly down and the engine is going to be started. As you can see, the engine has started but no rattling noise. And here, as you can see, the engine is not transferring power to the electronic motor or <coughs> motor generator number one which is to charge the battery and here as you can see the misfire is still occurring in cylinder number four so now <clears throat> so again when the engine is not uh, transferring power to the motor generator number one in spite of that, if the misfire is occurring in engine, but the rattling noise will not be uh, hard, or the rattling noise is there is no rattling noise there in, in the coming from the engine bay. In spite of that, that as you can see, the misfire misfiring is occurring, and uh, the engine speed is approximately 1500 RPM. So the rattling noise comes whenever uh, the engine uh, transfer uh, transfers power to the uh, motors, electric motor which uh, charges the battery, hybrid battery or a high voltage battery. So. <coughs> Uh, next step is we are going to uh, check uh, number four cylinder ignition coil uh, if we couldn't find the problem then spark plug status uh, then if we still wasn't uh, succeeded uh, third is going to be the compression uh, uh, pressure of the number four cylinder and four is going to be the fuel injector if the fuel injector uh, is spraying enough fuel to the combustion chamber <coughs> or to the uh, inlet port Okay, now 
as you can see uh, the uh, vehicle transmission is in P position so we are going to turn the power off and uh, remove the ignition key then we are going to take the ignition key and store it approximately 10 meters away from the vehicle before starting any maintenance or mechanical or electrical work on the vehicle. Okay, as you can see, uh, this is the coil plug of cylinder number four. So, as I was going to check with this uh, tool uh, to see if the uh, ignition coil is firing, but uh, here, as you can see, the uh, mass airflow sensor uh, has to be. Uh, connected and the mass air flow sensor is uh, part of the uh, air filter housing so uh, which I cannot check that I have to put the uh, air filter housing uh, to connect the mass air flow sensor and then I will not be able to see if the ignition coil is firing or not so what I'm going to do so I'm going to swap uh, ignition coil number four with the ignition coil number three and then start the engine and uh, I will see if the misfiring uh, moves from cylinder number four to cylinder number three. Okay, I have uh, swapped uh, uh, ignition coil number cylinder number four and uh, moved that ignition coil to cylinder number three. So now, now I'm going to power. Okay, now I'm going to start the engine. Okay, uh, as the engine is a little bit uh, cooler than the previously, uh, than the previous time, but uh, as you can see, uh, the ignition coil did not improve the situation as you can see uh, so uh, engine speed is approximately at 1500 rpm and, and the uh, misfiring is still occurring in cylinder number four and as uh, I, I can feel the uh, engine shaking uh, but uh, the engine is not throttling because uh, the high voltage battery is not being charged. And once again, if I start the engine, as you can see, misfiring is occurring in cylinder number four. Now uh, I'm going to start engine myself, but uh, the engine will not be engaged with the uh, motor uh, generator number one or the battery charger or the high voltage battery charger. So as you can see engine is running at high RPM and the misfire is still occurring at cylinder or in cylinder number four 
as you can see and uh, the engine has not engaged with the motor generator number one so in another word the battery is not being charged by the engine so now I'm going to wait until the <coughs> engine uh, starts itself or the engine uh, be started by the hybrid control system or hybrid control module uh, engine let's see if the engine can be started I have turned the uh, uh, it's very very terrible noise I have turned the EC on and as you can see the engine has started and here So the misfire has gone random. It occurs in cylinder number three and four. And I'm going to turn the, okay, I have turned the uh, EC off and immediately the engine has turned off. Uh, and also the uh, battery charging status is just at two lines. So I'm going to exit this live data and uh, I'm going to check if there is any further full codes occur. So here, uh, so the random uh, multiple cylinder misfiring is also registered here and uh, if I exit uh, this one as well so i'm going to exit that one and uh, go to the uh, transmission fold mm -hmm. It says that the battery circuit open or short. Okay, this is the freeze frame of the fold code. Battery voltage status was up, battery voltage value was zero. Completion completion of detecting and lock position not good. I'm not sure that that that's going to be the so completion of learning lock position is okay completion details. So let's see if we can find something important initial drive control complete okay manually normal display peanut Okay, here something we have got U phase current carrying status off, and then here U, yeah, U phase voltage. This is current and this is voltage. U phase voltage value. Mm. W phase off, W phase on. There. So we, we cannot get any useful information from the freeze frame dot of of the fold code so.
This is the fault code. It says battery circuit open or short. Okay, as you can see, I have removed the spark plugs and uh, this is the sign that uh, too much oil may be consuming in the combustion chamber and uh, as you can see that the <coughs> uh, combustioning is not taking place, place in this cylinder As you can see, this power plug is showing short circuit, so that we should have had open circuit. So let me show you another spark plug. This is another old spark plug. This is the center electrode. But uh, center electrode to the ground one. This is the center and this is the ground. It should be open circuit like this one. But here as you can see this is the center electrode. As you can see it registers 92.4 kilowatt of resistance. If I put in smart position this uh, knob, 
92.4 kilowatt and the, on this one it's going to be open so I'm going to replace this first sign of uh, <coughs> defection is this one so I'm going to replace four of them and then see if the misfire has gone away the oil level is also too low it's too low I think this engine has been kept in very very poor position and also look at this this is too dirty as well <laughs> look look it's completely blocked as you can see I have uh, connected the compression gauge to cylinder number four and also this is the uh, coil plug ignition coil plug has to be connected otherwise the engine will not be started because the feedback signal is not going to the engine ECU so Okay, now I'm going to uh, start the engine. As you can see, the compression is just 50 psi, lower than 50 psi, which is too low. Yeah, the engine has turned uh, off itself. I think the, the, the battery level, the, the high voltage battery level is too low, but uh, the engine cannot, the engine uh, cannot keep it uh, uh, charging to the specification. Uh, so as it's programmed in the ECU. <coughs> so I think uh, the compression is above uh, uh, four bars which uh, I'm going to show you the specification as well uh, I do uh, I think uh, the compression is about to uh, fire the uh, air fuel mixture with the uh, the uh, spark plug, uh, uh, spark, uh, travel to the uh, combustion chamber. So anyway, uh, we have problem with this one, so I'm going to uh, replace that uh, as uh, the center electrode was uh, shorted to the uh, <coughs> uh, negative electrode or to the ground. So this is the compression we had uh, <coughs> because the 
uh, throttle body is closed, uh, the throttle body bottle ply is closed, we may have uh, more than this if we uh, had, uh, if we have had the throttle uh, body, bo body bottle ply uh, completely open. So <coughs> anyway, I'm going to show you the manufacturer specification which I found in on the U2 data for this specific engine. Okay, as you can see, the lubricant so. okay compression pressure is going to be eight point eight two But anyway, I'm going to change the spark plug and see if the situation is improved. Okay, I have removed the spark plugs, but this two, one and two, were soaked in the in engine oil. So also, if I, when I put the camera down, this is uh, uh, cylinder number two. As you can see, the oil. So I have to uh, extract that from the top of the uh, piston with the extracting tool. This is cylinder number two, as you can see. And this is the oil that can be seen here. This is the oil. If I move the camera a little bit and you might be able to see, this is the oil down. So I need to extract this oil and uh, This is uh, spark plugs number three, which is no good. So anyway, I'm going to check for short <coughs> condition as well. So, This is number This is not shorted, and uh, this is number two. This is also not sh shorted. So this is number one. This is also not shorted. So only number one, number four, which was misfiring and uh, that is shorted.
to ground or to the uh, negative electrode or <coughs> ground electrode so now I'm going to replace spore plugs and also extracting oil from cylinder number one and number two uh, new spark plugs so I'm going to install new spark plugs and see if the misfire goes away okay I have replaced the spark plugs put some engine oil top it up to the maximum level and now uh, let's see and start the engine so I'll put everything back together I'm going to leave that right now this is also too dirty but anyway I'm going to start the engine and see okay now I'm going to put the ignition on the, uh, the engine is uh, uh, running smooth uh, at the beginning it rattled a little bit because you know they uh, some uh, uh, of the uh, engine oil which uh, uh, you know some drips of the uh, engine oil which uh, uh, dripped it down from the uh, uh, spark plugs uh, through the spark plugs hole and so that's for that reason is because it misfired at the beginning now it's not misfiring at all as you can see and uh, this is the misfiring counting life data as you can see and okay uh, i think uh, that uh, we have fixed the problem by replacing the uh, <coughs> spark plug so they uh, spark plug of the number four uh, cylinder was short to ground so the center electrode was uh, the center electrode was uh, shorted to the uh, ground electrode or the outer electrode <coughs> as you can see now the engine is smooth it's not rattling at all okay because we have just topped it up with one liter so we didn't know that uh, whether this will uh, the uh, changing the spark plug will uh, fix the problem or not now uh, we fix the problem i'm going to uh, clear the fold codes and uh, also i'm going to do the proper service on this vehicle as you can see the engine is running smooth no rattling noise or whatsoever now the engine has turned off i'm going to let the customer know that we have fixed the problem and uh, also i'm going to let him uh, know that if he wants to do the uh, service because as you can see here this is in very very bad condition as you can see it's completely blocked approximately it's completely blocked now as you can see it's not misfiring so which used to misfire number four engine is running but uh, the battery is not being charged Okay, I'm going to uh, clear the fold code 
and then I'm going to take the vehicle to a short uh, road trip uh, until the extra oil which is in the combustion chamber all burn out travel codes back again okay so cube rs Okay, just one fold coconut remains in their conditioning system and as you can see, uh, let me zoom that and as you can see I have zero day trip counter. Now I'm going to take the vehicle for a short road trip and then bring it back and I'm going to show you if the misfiring is occurring. Uh, now the vehicle is stopped at traffic, as you can see. Okay, now, uh, as you can see, not sure if you can see that. Uh, I have driven the vehicle for 1.4 miles, and now I'm going to check the Fold codes. Mm, I'm going to go back. Mm, yes. Okay. Okay, as you can see, uh, there is no fold code in the engine and a uh, electronic transmission control unit electronic I don't know what this what is ECT means electronic control maybe transmission so anyway we have fixed this problem but uh, as you saw that the vehicle was uh, rattling when the uh, engine was uh, transmitting or transferring power to the motor generator one so when the engine was not uh, transmitting or transferring power to motor generator one the misfire was occurring but the rattling was not occurring so as you can see uh, where is the 
engine control this is as you can see no fault code in the engine control unit hybrid control unit and transmission control unit so thanks for watching